All right. It's Aya is a busy cop on Christmas, but she has to take the time to stop the ultimate being from being born. I mean, we died last time, but Aya just has to get right back in. We're going to do that now. Get back on that carrier. She doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Doesn't know the meaning of... of I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a second word in mind. But here we go again. Yes, I, uh, please, I need to give you... But he cannot. He was not able... He was not going to be able to give her something on the radio. She is in a helicopter by now. Oh, forget it. She signed off already. That's right. No more words. Only battle. Aya can't let the sacrifice of all of those other helicopter pilots go to waste. All of those mics who died in those helicopters. She can never live with herself. All right, so. How are things different than last time? Well, been looking at the weapons. Uh, so right now we're using the M8000 handgun. Um, and actually, hold on, give me a second. Let me just see something here. Okay, let's continue on from there. So we have the M8000 which is the handgun that we got previously uh, that has the two commands. So I'm using that. I put a times two on it, and I put all my bonus points onto that. So that's the weapon that we're going in with. Splut, scorch, 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 as she walks through the ooze, through the birthing slime belonging to Eve. So it was you. Maya! Huh. That must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve! Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you! Ha ha ha. Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill other creatures, and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons, and you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. Ha ha ha. All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies. But until now, humans have had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as history. But you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human beings and have allowed you to prosper. What? Ha ha ha. We mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical abilities. Can't you see that it's the perfect scenario? What? Then you're saying that? Humans were kept alive? For the mitochondria's sake? Huh. You humans just served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. Ha ha ha. But you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings, and we will rule this earth.
All right, it's fighty time. So. So we have maximum PE because we're at the start of the fight. So we will start off by using that last spell we got, Liberate, which liberates mitochondrial control. What is that? It's not much of a description. What does it mean to liberate mitochondrial control? Well, it turns out what it means is to deliver like a combo of punches and kicks, as I thought, I think we can all expect. Let's do that now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah, seven hit combo is what it means to, to liberate the mitochondria. It does a lot of damage, as you saw. It does all of our PE, but it does enough damage that it is worth it. We have three... T oh, actually, one of the targets is dead on already. So there's three targets to her body. One of them was just completely killed. She's spinning! She's spinning! I'm going to use a medicine. I do have the armor that automatically uses the medicine, but sometimes I get hit and I die without it kicking in, and I don't really know why. So we're just gonna we're gonna use one. moan indicates that the, the second target is dead and now she's spinning again and third one dead ha 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 I'll give you points for trying but enough of this nonsense watch and learn what evolution really means It means to get hot. But don't worry, there are no nipples, so it's stream friendly. That's the important thing, of course. All right. And we have all of our PE, so of course we are going to combo her. Being hot will not stop that. Will not protect her from, from combos. That by itself is not enough. There we go. I... I don't understand. No, no, you can't be our natural enemy. No.
I feel if this game came out today, Eve would be a very popular character for fan art. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. Okay, I'll think about it. And then we enter day six, liberation. Let's save our progress. Time for the aftermath. Oh, look, who's gonna clean that up? There's so much birthing slime. Aya, come on! Aya, what's wrong? Ha! You were great, Aya! Shows that only my partner can pull it off, huh? Yes, Aya, I'm relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did Eve have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? Because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. That's okay, so mate is gone. Let's talk to Daniel. If you don't mind, I like to have some time to myself. Lorraine. Gonna have to get over the, the death of Lorraine. She got melted into ooze. Everyone else has been guided inside, miss. Admiral Williams is on his way here. All right, let's go inside. <sighs> no need for this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, huh? Yeah, yes. Thank you. Aya, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Aya! Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me, um, rather queasy. I knew it! I knew you could do it! And I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here! Everyone's saying you're the number one cop in New York right now! Cause, uh, on account of blowing up the ooze per the oozeman. The big oozeman. Destroyed the Statue of Liberty and all that? Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing. Ain't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, eh? Yeah, you're probably tired too. I'll take the things that are in your way. So you rest up now, you hear? Alright, so... Um... Let's have him hold some items. Like junk. You can put junk in here. We don't- we don't need the junk. What about a cure P? And the clamp key, that was from the museum- Whoop! Oh, no, not that. There we go. Nope. There we go. Nope. Yep, yeah, there. That was from the museum. We don't need that. I don't think I can move that Narita. Pretty sure that stays... Yeah, that just stays. Can't do anything about that. As a souvenir for blowing evil away, I'll engrave your name on any weapon. Okay, so people have said that um, you can choose a, a weapon and an armor to carry over to the next playthrough. So, I mean, and by doing that, I guess you get to transfer over your bonus points. So you can still, you can keep amassing the bonus points from game to game is what I'm guessing. No? I don't like that. Just like entering my name in an arcade game. 
Uh, and here's the armor. Uh, though this one has been misspelled the whole game. I guess we should probably spell it correctly. Okay. Can't fit the whole thing. It's great being on this cruise, eh? Gonna tell my mom about this. Assuming she has not been turned to goo or nothing, you know? By the way, US, uh, we're here. You can see that you can see that we're right there. That's the only thing we really need to know about that. We're here. Actually, we need to know US Navy here and engine room. Only important things about the map. Well done. I have received some supplies from Admiral Williams. Please make sure of whatever items you need. All right. Take some medicines. And some medicines. And some ammos. And, uh, I think that's it. And here's a save. Let us do a save. Just got to make sure that we're ready, we're well stocked for, you know, going back onto those NY city streets, fighting crime and all that, you know. That's all. Some Christmas, eh? Tell me about it. Sorry, it was late. We could not approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Your help is greatly appreciated. Please rest inside. As citizen... What's going on? Uh, what? What is it? You're scaring me. That huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... It couldn't have been the, the uterus for the ultimate being? No! What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. That is the ultimate being. We didn't make it in time. What are these explosions? The mitochondrial energy must be out of control. To the point where it is causing these explosions. We will escape by helicopter. Please follow me. Guess all we can do for now is run. Aya, come on! Aya, what's wrong? I... I have to take care of this. Aya, no! Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Is it... You get it? Uh, uh, no. Please hurry! Shut up, man! Uh, Aya, please take... Cut it out with the voodoo stuff already, huh? We can't be wasting time. No, Daniel, please. This is different. It's not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please! You two should go, now! Aya, you're coming back no matter what, you hear?
All right, it's time for the ultimate showdown with a baby. It's you or me. Who's going to be the one to make it through? That's the question. Okay, so our P is at max, which means we're going to combo a baby. But uh, let's get the baby closer to the screen so we can get a better look at this combo. Yeah, that's close enough. That mitochondria has been liberated. But is it growing? What's happening? No, it's, it's not over yet. We have to go through the, 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 the life cycle. But now... Oh no! It's hot! The ultimate life form is ready to date. This... This is the mature being? Well, it may be mature, but... We do have full magic, or sorry, I should say P.E., so let us combo it. is strong enough to withstand the combo, but is it strong enough to withstand gun?
Oh. But now it it's this. So basically basically chaos from Sonic Adventure. It's still growing. No wait, it's still evolving? So this is a little odd. Like so far its uh, forms have been, you know, pretty humanoid. Uh, but now we get this. However, it does seem like it has actually evolved a resistance to guns, which I mean that's that's the main problem, right? I mean if if it's resistant to guns, what can the, what can a police officer do? She's helpless now. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born. But I want to live too, like all other human beings. Damn, there's no end to this. If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with Aya's cells in them. So that's what you were trying to give her. But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Stupid! Give him to me! Daniel! That was a very good throw. Daniel! This is from Maida? So now, we're equipped with Maida's gun. And, uh, it's, a, it, it's very weak, but it does have the special bullets. So we can do big, big damages. Daniel! But oh no! Oh my god! There's gotta be something on the cruiser to get rid of this! We're no longer fighting. I guess we're out of ammo. And it's still crawling towards us. We gotta find something to get rid of it. Oh, okay. I, I know we got off on the wrong foot. I think, I think... Oh, wait, where you going? The engine room! See, right there. We needed to know where it was. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, this is the save point I'm not supposed to use. I just think, you know, it's my, it's my birthday, quite literally. I just... Oh, oh please, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, uh, Officer Brea. Uh, officer. Look, I know that... Look, you killed my mom before I was even born. And I think you have to give me that. So you can't you can't really blame me for getting off on the wrong foot. Uh, you know, feeling like these violent oiges. 
And I j <sighs> Officer Brea, please. You're a public servant, and I, I, I'm a member of the public. I feel like you're obligated to listen to my complaint. The boiler pressure shoots up. I can blow the ship to bits. Officer, please. I'm just a little guy. I'm a little guy. It's my birthday. I'm the birth... Do you know where we are? Uh... We're in Hell's Kitchen, motherfucker. What? I don't think that's correct. Hell's Kitchen is a, a, a location in the city. Uh, it's not where we are right now. Oh, I get it. Because it's going to explode and be all fiery. I understand now. I feel like you're not doing a very good job at serving and protecting. Please, I, I, I'm, I feel like we may, we got in a fight and everything, but we, we can forgive and forget, right? I mean, look at me over here, I'm crawling. I don't even have any le arms or legs. Let me get up these stairs. Oh, no, look, okay, here I go, here I go, here I go. And not bad, huh? I'm swimming. I'm swimming in the air over here. You can't eat, you can't do, you humans can't do that. Only the ultimate being can do that. And, and Daniel's fine. Look, don't worry about it. It's finally over. Huh. I don't understand. Why do I have this power? It's because Maya is inside of you too, Aya. What? When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me? Yeah. When you were seven. Uh, you probably don't remember any of it, but... You were born with a defect in your right eye. And so Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then what I saw what I when I touched Eve was... It is said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded onto the cornea, but this hasn't been scientifically proven because it's dumb. That was Maya's last memory? That was the last thing she ever saw? As for the mitochondria that was in Aya's body, I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve. By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Me and Maya... Our mitochondrial power. Starting with the incident in Japan and now with this. I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? Uh, how can I explain it? Uh, if the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses, out of control. We're, in, in essence, upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. No, we're, we're not that weak. You see, humans are, in essence, parasites, Eve. You can say that we are parasites, and the world is our host. And we are indeed getting its body hot. Huh. Look, the sun's coming up.
It is? I mean, I, I guess a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we, You can see it there. Man, I killed a baby. That's fucked up, isn't it? Come on, Aya. Here, take my... Thank you, Ben. Uh, I'm not too good with these social events. I'm not me. I love these... I think he said I love these things. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. This is my first time, so I'm... I'm nervous. That's because you're with Aya and she's all dressed up and pretty. What? No, no, no. What? It's starting, shall we? First time going to the opera. I'm so nervous about what happens in the opera. I understand every, the audience all dies. I mean, I've only heard of one opera performance happening, but seems like a good enough sample size. Yes, D -D -D Daniel and Ben are, are late, aren't they? Oh, oh goodness, keep it together, Maida. Uh, they better hurry. It's going to start any... I think it's a minute now. Uh, the, 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 the restroom must be really crowded. I, yes, that's... What's wrong? You seem tense. Let me rub your shoulders and make you less tense. What? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm going back to Japan to... Move, Maida. Yeah. All right. Made it on time. I'm sitting next to Aya. Sorry we're late. You'd think they might have, I don't know, postponed doing this performance again, considering, <laughs> considering the context. You know, this is not the only play that exists. Maybe something a little bit light heart, more lighthearted. than the, the story where apparently the characters are going to get burned to death. Oh! Oh no, he's just holding that. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with her! Edward. Um, would you mind sitting? Uh, we can't, we can't see. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you. Get with it, guys. No one's dying tonight.
And so, I guess everyone's mitochondria evolved? But they weren't uh, exploding, so maybe they were all evolving to live symbiotically with humans? I guess. Like, otherwise everyone's just gonna die immediately. So let's just say that. Let us just say that. I know there's a sequel, and people still exist in the sequel. So I'm assuming everyone does, just didn't die right there. We will say that. So that is Parasite Eve. Uh, what a thing this is? A uh, artifact? A relic of a, of a time gone by? Not really, because this doesn't really represent much of anything that came out at the time. Um, strange, strange game to play. I know that a lot of people like it. It's considered a classic. As I was playing this, I felt a lot of frustration, but not the frustration of playing a bad game. I'm very familiar with that frustration. It was something else. It was... Remember when you were in school and there was a subject that you were doing badly with? and you needed a lot of help with it, and the teacher was just doing a really poor job, that's what playing this game feels like. Um, like, maybe there is... Like, maybe science can be fun, but can we get a teacher who knows what they're doing in here, please? Is kind of... Is the, is the experience, I think. <clears throat> um, just... Like, I didn't, I didn't have fun with any of the gameplay. I think the movement feels very bad, uh, which is we like in, normally in RPGs that might not like in, in turn based RPGs that might not matter so much. But this game uses the movement in the combat system. So you and you, you think it might feel a little bit better. Uh, you think that might have done a little bit better job with that. Um, but I don't feel like it, they did. Uh, I always felt like it, she felt so slow at all times. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling like since there was movement in the combat system, you should be able to do a better job of, like, juking and, like, diving and stuff like that out of the way of attacks. You can turn on haste to get yourselves fast, but I feel like maybe that's not really what you're doing. It's mostly just, you know, knowing how to upgrade the weapons and jacking up the stats so you don't have to worry about it so much, maybe. Maybe that's more what it's about. Certainly it is the case when I put all of the stats on that gun, the M8000, uh, certainly Eve was taking a whole lot more damage than when I was using the previous gun, and as such the fight was a lot easier. Um, a lot of different techniques and spells, but I barely used any of them. I don't know, maybe I should've? I felt like the, obviously the best thing to do was just use haste all the time and heal when needed. And then, of course, at the end, you have uh, your seven-hit combo. I don't actually know how good any of the other stuff was really. <clears throat> that being said, the story was dumb in a fun way. I felt like there was some good Neil Breenish style dialogue about science and humanity. Of course, this game preceded any of Breen's movies. But that is the, um, that is the reference point that I would think of. Um, like, I don't really think that was worth playing the game for. I'm, I'm like, the CG cutscenes were very good, and clearly that would have been very impressive at the time, uh, since Square was one of the companies at the very top of their game at doing the CG FMV at that point in time. <clears throat> Um, I felt the characters, for the most part, were like wet blankets. Like, maybe it was supposed to be more of a realistic setting, but I feel like Aya herself is just like, I don't know, like there's not much to her. Like, Daniel has some character to him. But, uh, I don't know. I didn't really get into the, into the characters so much. Music's good, you know? The sound is fine. There were some fun points, like when it turns out that we, we do indeed fight dinosaurs. That's neat. <clears throat> um, 
attempting to use real locations in New York as like the setting, more or less real locations. That was it was a nice idea. Uh, but yeah, I thought you know I wanted to play this because it it's remembered so fondly. Um, and I, I don't really know why it is. I just, I don't know why it is. Maybe it was, maybe you had to be there for it. But I play old games all the time, and I like them, but I just, I'm not seeing it here. I'm just not really seeing it here. You know, thinking about the story, I, this is sort of a tangent, but I'm just wondering, does anyone know the answer to this? There's a certain kind of story this game uses that I tend to associate with maybe a uh, Japanese fiction. And I don't know if there's a name for this, but I'm gonna describe it and maybe you'll know. But it's a sort of a story where there is a scientist and that scientist is done with humanity, just disillusioned with humanity and is doing a science to bring about some sort of new ultimate species to replace humanity. And then the heroes, the protagonists, are infected with the science. And they become like those ultimate beings, but they have to fight. They're fighting on the side of humanity against the scientist. It's a story that I've seen in a bunch of Japanese fiction. Um, like, for example, there's a, a number of 90, like 80s and 90s animes that have that kind of thing. It is a storyline that uh, was in Shin Kamen Rider, which was based on the original Kamen Rider, which I've never seen, but Shin Kamen Rider used that story. A game I played a couple years ago, Ghostwire Tokyo, used that story, except instead of science, it was the scientist was bringing about the supernatural. But it's like a common thing that I've seen in a bunch of Japanese media, and I'm wondering, if it, what's the backstory of that? Why is that such a popular thing? I'm just kind of wondering now because I've seen it so many times. Um, and Parasite Eve does it here, with Clamp being the scientist in this case, and, uh, and uh, Aya turning out to have the evolved mitochondria, and in her ultimate attack, she in fact just transform into an ultimate being herself. Just comes up a lot. Comes up a lot. Uh-huh. Uh mm hmm Yeah. Oh, there we go. Getting more bonus points because you got to take it over into that new game plus for uh, the big bonus dungeon, which I have no desire to do. Yep, EX round, round two. It's funny how they call it that. They don't call it new game plus, they call it round two. Like, you're not done with the fight. You're only done with round one. Insert disc one. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to. That's fine. I'm okay. I'm good with it. Well, that's Parasite Eve. Um, Aya's adventures through Christmas as she has to stop an actress who has been infected with the cells of her dead sister. And her, her, her sister... Actually, hold on. That's another question. Maya was mitochondrial Eve. Did they, they don't say in the game how that happens, right? Like, why was Maya Eve? I feel like that question doesn't go answered. Maybe there's, like, expanded materials or expanded lore that explains that bit. But, uh, like, the whole premise here was that Maya was Eve. And so Maya died and her cells, like, her, like, she had a kidney transplant, was it? into um into melissa and then her cornea into aya so these two women got maya's cells which were mitochondria eve's cells which is why they get the evolved mitochondria and then superpowers that's how you get superpowers i don't remember that being answered hmm well i'm sure there is an answer to it but i don't know what that is but what i do know is that Parasite Eve is over, and, um, that, yeah, 
that's, that's, that's done.